Hi, my name's Becky Leventis. I've taught watercolor painting here at the Aquarius since it opened about, I think it'd be eight years ago in March. So, um, welcome to our painting class. I um, hope I get some more of you interested. Um, we meet once a month on the first Friday of each month, usually in the marble room, and we'd love to see you. Watercolor painting is a real fun activity. I have had people over 100 years old take it up and enjoy it. It's, it's something everybody can do and it relaxes you. It also lowers your blood pressure when you paint and uh, it's a really nice activity to do. So if any of you are interested after today, um, this is a book that um, an Irish guy named Frank Clark wrote. It's a beginning watercolor book. You can get it for a penny on uh, Amazon. If you have Amazon Prime, you have to pay $4 shipping. So it ends up, you know, being under $5 for a used book. And I always buy used books. It's good for beginners because it starts out very basic and it tells you know, this guy, his teachers told him he had no talent whatsoever, and here he is ending up uh, being famous, and he had a TV show for a while on PBS. Um, also, I wanted to tell you, some people probably have these coloring books in your rooms that are real popular now. Um, yesterday, I took a coloring book, and I painted it with watercolor painting. Now the paper is just thin paper, it's not watercolor paper. So you have to tape it down on all four sides with masking tape um, to, to hold it. If you don't do that, it will wrinkle so badly that you can't paint it. But if you have masking tape, you can tape it down on something hard. You know, this uh, cardboard works real well. And, and take one of their pictures, tear it out of the book, and paint it and they, they come out beautifully. See this? You'd never know that that is not watercolor paper. So there's lots of it, lots of these coloring books on the market now. Um, the ones that work best are the ones that have big pictures, you know, uh, not the little um, mosaics and things. Those are would be too hard to do with watercolors. So today I picked out uh, something from Hawaii. I figured since it's so cold out, what is it, it's like 25, 30 degrees outside, that it would be fun to paint a picture of a flower from Hawaii. And this is from a catalog um, from a company called Long's Drugs, which if any of you have been to Hawaii, is, is one of their main pharmacies over there. And this is a flower that you see all over the islands. So we're going to paint it with just some very basic painting supplies. We have a palette here with all the colors we need. We have a little cup full of water. And when you fill it with water, use the hottest water you can get. And the reason you use hot water is it will soften these quicker than if you use cold water. We also have a brush and we have paper plate where we can mix colors. Then we have a nail, which I will show you later, which we're going to do, work with. We have our picture, which some of you might find I've already taped it down onto cardboard. If you get a picture that's not taped down, we have um, little manila backing boards and I, I'm sending along some um, clothes pins so you can pin it down. So just the real basics. So have I sit down or I stand up sometimes when I paint and here we go. So I'm going to paint mine pink but you do not have to paint it pink. Here's one I painted that was yellow. Another one I have over here that I painted that's more orange. And I have one that's almost purple here. So pick a color that you like and let's go to it. 
I'm not as clever as, Cla as Bob Ross, so I don't have any fancy sayings. <laughs> but we're going to start and we're going to have a good time. So I'm going to do my pink, and I, I, I sprayed my pink beforehand with a little sprayer of water. Um, what you can, and I will try and get these sprayed before you get these in your room. But if you get one that's really dried up, just take and put just a little drop of water in each one, hot water, and that will let it soften up. So this is kind of like doing a puzzle. We're going to do a uh, petal and let it dry before we do another petal because if you do the two petals side by side, the paint will run into each other. So I'm going to do one petal and maybe I want to change the color a little bit. I'm going to go into my orange. So it looks really pretty to change up your colors and not have the same color all the time. So I'm going to go in the orange here and maybe even a little yellow. Use plenty of water on your brush. If you don't have enough water on your brush, you'll see brush marks. And you don't want to do that. That doesn't look cool. So here we have petal number one. And while it is wet, I'm going to put some lines in it. So I'm just going to dent the paper here. What are you using? I'm using my nail. Okay. The nail that you've all gotten. And I'm denting the paper. I'm putting some lines in it. Now you could do this right, you know, when you, before you put the paint on, but it, I kind of like doing it once I put the paint on and then I can see where the lines are. That'll probably be a little bit hard for you to see in the camera. Can you see those lines I put there? Yeah. Okay, good deal. You've got a half a minute. Okay. Now don't be afraid. Pick your, your paper up. See how it's behaving. It's not running. It's cool. I can turn it any way I want to and it's behaving. That's because your, your paint likes to stay where the paper is wet. So take your time. You have time now to do it. <laughs> 